All right, today our viewer question is, uh, they have asked, what is your opinion on mushroom tinctures like reishi and lion's mane? Okay. So we gotta take a little tiptoe into food chemistry land here for understanding this answer. But first of all, I'm a big mushroom fan. I love them, the taste, I love their texture. I love what they do for all sorts of soups and gravies and casseroles. Uh, we use mushrooms three, four times a week. They show up in, in our meals here. Yay, mushroom. And they've got all sorts of nutrient properties and they stimulate your immune system. And uh, again, thumbs up on mushrooms. Great. Now, how do you get them in? They said, you cook with them. Don't eat raw mushrooms, by the way, anytime at the salad bar or whatever. No, there, there's all, there all sorts of uh, residual fertilizer stuff on the surface and toxins. You, you, you want to cook, uh, eat cooked mushrooms. Uh, that said, um, if people are taking these medicinally, uh, what are the ways they can do it? The, uh, the best thing is to cook them and use them as an ingredient. The, uh, can you make a mushroom tea out of them? You can, and, and, or make it a mushroom infusion where you'd allow it to dissolve in water. Uh, you can, but there are issues here. And again, here's where we get into chemistry a little bit. When you're talking about herbal preparations, herbal teas, tinctures, et cetera, et cetera, uh, you're talking about green plants by and large, they're le leaves, stems, or flowers of green plants. And they are made of this wonderful carbohydrate called cellulose. And cellulose will dissolve in water, dissolves in hot water. And so you can make an infusion or a tea out of any of these herbal uh, preparations that have been made from the green plant kingdom. Yay, not a problem, water works there. But fungi, mushrooms, they're a different creatures altogether. They're from a different kingdom and they don't use cellulose. Their structural molecule is called chitin, C-H-I-T-E-N, T-O-N, chitin. And it's a different carbohydrate structure altogether. And it doesn't dissolve in water. And so making a, um, a, a uh, I'm sorry, it, it will dissolve in hot water, will not dissolve in alcohol. Why is that an issue? Because tinctures are alcohol solutions. That defines a tincture. Uh, a tincture of iodine, it's iodine dissolved in an alcohol solution. So tinctures are alcohol solutions. Chitin does not dissolve in alcohol. And for that reason, in some ways, uh, a, a mushroom tincture is an oxymoron. It, uh, the, the essence of the mushroom does not get out into the alcohol solutions. So by and large, that's uh, uh, a waste of your money and time for a pure uh, mushroom tincture. They, they don't really exist. Now you can, and this gets in the whole world of herbal preparation food processing. I think you can do a, a, a mushroom powder, processed mushroom powder extract. You can uh, powder the mushroom, then boil it under high pressure, and then take that, what you get out of that and do an, an alcohol extraction. That I think works. So yes, you can do a, a powdered mushroom tincture, I suppose. But by and large, um, uh, the, the tinctures, I mean, it just says pure tincture of lion's mane, tincture of, uh, of hen of the woods, uh, probably not, not much in there uh, and a better use for your money. Uh, the best thing to do is eat the mushrooms is the best way to get them in. Uh, find ways to chop them, in, chop them up. There's, you can get them even in, in, cap, in veggie capsules and just take them orally. But uh, by and large, it uh, turns out that tincture of mushrooms uh, really is uh, not a, a good investment for your money or your health. So uh, eat the mushrooms and leave the alcohol alone. Good idea anyway. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.